by Nigel R. With such a strong zoom on the FZ200, uh, won't that mean a reduced aperture? Well, normally in bridge cameras, yes, you find that. The FZ150 and the FZ100, which are previous cameras that are still on the market mm -hmm. from Panasonic, uh, would have an f-stop of 2.8, so wide aperture. And as the zoom extends, then you, the, the aperture reduces in size. So you're getting a, a lot more in focus. With the new FZ200, which we have to the right here, um, if I turn that around, and if I select on, you can see the LCD screen here. Um, I can actually now, this has a, an F setting, F stop of 2.8, but it has it all the way through the lens. Mm -hmm. So when I get to its maximum uh, telephoto zoom, which is 24 times, um, I still can retain that small aperture number, but the widest uh, aperture to uh, still allow a lot of light to come through. So this is groundbreaking technology for us. Uh, producing this at, the, you know, at, at this stage. Um, we've, we've kind of done something similar in the past, but now to bring it back into the body, you know, our technicians have worked really, really hard in Japan to make this kind of uh, product, and it's now available in the consumer marketplace. So the answer is usually it should, but in that case, it's not happening. It, uh, it's not, uh, the zoom doesn't reduce the aperture. So Nigel, thank you for your question.